This video will be about the uh, detailed hardware and software of this project and this project is about interfacing a seven segment display uh, actually multiple seven segment displays with the AT8989 S52 now let's move over to the hardware section and as you can see um, this is of course Shudip CAD 1.0 uh, I use this kind of paper uh, with grids to draw circuits okay so this is our segments right there this is a two digit seven segment display and it's common cathode so we have to provide uh, a plus uh, of VCC on these pins to activate the uh, uh, digit <coughs> sorry and this is the A to Z uh, G uh, A to G pins and these are connected to pin, uh, port 0 of pin uh, 0 port 0 um, pin 1 and so on to port 0 pin 6 and mm, these are the segment control pins and I also have uh, the digit control pins connected to uh, the collect uh, emit uh, collector of a PNP transistor BC557 through a 330 ohms resistor and the emitter of the uh, transistor is connected to VCC base is connected to pin uh, port port 2 pin 1 of the AT8989 S52 through a 2.2 kilo ohms resistor so to light up this uh, digit we have to put 0 here because this is a PNP transistor so when uh, we put 0 here the VCC is connected to uh, this, uh, uh, this uh, pin through 330 ohms of resistor and that's about it uh, for the hardware not uh, not at all complicated or anything so yeah next up we're going to talk about the software the um, software of the hardware I just showed you and up top we define the digit control pins which are port uh, 2 pin 1 and port 2 pin 0 um, this is digit 1 and this is digit 2 <coughs> and then we declare the array where we have the um, CA codes uh, common uh, anode codes of the digits 0 to 9 and then we have two variables one is timer counter which counts up to 99 and then goes back to zero uh, um, and and in it increments uh, at a rate of one sec uh, it increments once per second and then we have the buffer uh, variable we'll talk about that later this is the ISR this is the um, main line uh, main program so uh, the timer interrupt is exactly like the one I used in uh, timer zero mode one video which is a 16-bit uh, timer uh, and I'm using interrupt and so first I declare I set this digit one to 1 and digit 2 to 0 and then I go on to the while loop and it's uh, chills there about one second and then increments the timer count and if the timer count is uh, big, uh, greater than 99 because we just have two display uh, digits and uh, the counter uh, timer counter rolls uh, rolls over to 0 and now the ISR so the ISR 
whenever the ISI is called the digit 1 and 2 are toggled so initially digit 1 was 1 and digit 2 was 0 and uh, when the first ISI is called that is changed so digit 1 becomes 0 and digit 2 becomes 1 and now uh, we check for whether digit 2 is 0 or not if digit 2 is 0 then digit 2 uh, display is active so we put uh, the remainder of the timer count in the buffer and P0 uh, pass the uh, C CA code of the buffer value to P0 else that means where uh, the digit 2 is not active digit 1 is active the buffer divides the timer count by 10 and then loads the uh, corresponding uh, CCA code uh, into P0 stops the timer loads the new value uh, and resets you know starts the timer again so that's about it for the software and uh, as you can see I've done some calculations in the ISR and um, I shouldn't have done that but I'm not going to change that because I do I uh, do another video talking about uh, ISR and stuff like that thanks for watching bye